Well, it's still Christmas. In fact, it is the first Sunday of Christmas. That's why I'm still wearing a Christmas jumper. Welcome to St Gabriel's Worship from Home for Sunday the 27th of December. In the Christmas calendar, in the Church of England, Christmas actually starts on Christmas Day and today is what is seen as the first Sunday of Christmas if you are watching on the Sunday or it's the first week of Christmas, the 12 days, if you are watching and catching up any time during the week. We had a wonderful Christmas celebration on Christmas Day where we had our worship online and came together from on Zoom to toast Christ's birth in the morning. Today's worship, we're going to be singing some songs we're going to be hearing from the Bible and we are going to be praying for the world. So as we do that, our Advent candles are lit, but we are going to light a candle at the back of our display here. It's the candle we have been lighting since the very first worship from home in lockdown in March. And we are still in tier four, which means that we can't gather together in real life. So we light this candle as a recognition that these next few moments are going to be holy to God. That they stand out in a moment and in our time in our regular day. So as we have done that, and we have the four candles and the Christ light lit in the middle. Let us pray. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit will come upon us wherever we are and whatever we are doing this week. We thank you for the celebration of Christmas and we pray wherever we are and whatever we are doing, your Spirit will come upon us now as we lift our hearts in worship to you. Through your risen Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray these things. Amen. Um, not only are we going to pray, we're going to sing. And we're going to sing our very first song, Ding Dong Merrily on High.
also we have sung our first song, Glory in the Highest to Christ. But we recognise that sometimes we don't come and glorify Christ in the way that we should. Sometimes we don't live up to the standards that Christ talks about and they're the things he calls sin. So we take a moment to confess privately and then publicly the things that we've done wrong to separate us from the love of God and from the love of others. And we say together, Father, we have sinned against heaven and against you. We are not worthy to be called your children. We turn to you again. Have mercy on us. Bring us back to though yourself as those who were once dead but now have life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And because we ask God for a pure heart, hear these words of forgiveness. May the Father forgive you through, his son, through the death of his Son, Jesus Christ, and strengthen you to live in the power of his Spirit now and all your days. Amen. We are going to sing our next song, our next hymn of praise. Because we are in Christmas time, we're going to be singing some great Christmas carols. We're going to sing Once in Royal David City.
have sung. And we're going to hear from the Bible. Tiffany and Emma are going to read the Bible to us now from Luke's Gospel. And we are reading from chapter 2, from verse 15. So open up your Bibles and let us hear God's word. A reading from Luke, chapter 2, verses 15 to 21. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and, and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what they had been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel, before he was conceived in the womb. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I don't know how you first heard about Christ and about Jesus and about faith. Was it someone who told you about it? Did you scroll across some video on Facebook or Twitter? Did you pick up a tweet or a message? Did someone WhatsApp you or did you see a Bible verse on Instagram? I don't know how you first heard the message of Christ. I don't know if you have or not. But we read in Jesus' time, it was slightly different. They didn't have Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or Snapchat or anything like that. So how did the shepherds hear about the newborn king? It was through angels, God's messenger, the first WhatsApp, the first Snapchat. The angels came and appeared to them on the hillside and they went. Because they heard, they knew, they just had to check it out and check it out for themselves. Was this real? Was this a real thing that happened? And it was. And they went and they found the Christ child amongst the animals and they worshipped him like they were told to. I don't know, have you heard, have you really checked out what this Christianity thing is all about? Do you really know? Because we read, when the shepherds really knew, what did they do? They didn't keep it to themselves. They went and told others. It was a, 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 an amazing thing that was written. They said, so they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. And when they saw this, they made known what had been told to them. And all who heard it were amazed. And they uh, were amazed by what the shepherds told them. In other readings and other translations it talks about the shepherds going around telling others about the Christ child and I wonder if you have heard and if you do know when was the last time you spoke about the faith you have in Christ when were it when was the last time you went amongst your friends and told them the amazing things that Christ does in your life. When was the last time you posted a Bible verse on Facebook? When was the last time you Snapchatted a friend about what Christ has done? When was it that you put your, our Christmas services or our worship on your Facebook or your Instagram feed? When was it the last time? that you told others about Christ. 
Because that is what we are called to do, like the shepherds, to hear the message and to tell the message. To help the world know that Christ is alive. And then we read at the end of our scripture reading that when it was time, Mary and Joseph was obedient to God and to the angels and named him Jesus. I don't know where you are or what you do at this moment, but I don't know if God has put a word on your heart to do something and you have been avoiding that but you know that you need to be obedient to Christ in these moments. So our scripture this morning and today raises three questions for us. If you haven't heard or if you're not quite sure, what is it that you're going to do to take a step to go deeper? And if you do know the love of Christ, like many of us do, how are you telling others? In what way are you using the things that God has given us now to tell others about Christ? Like the shepherds, they went round the town and the village and told everyone, how are you going around your villages, your communities? whether they be real or virtual, and telling about Christ. And the third thing is, how are you being obedient to God's calling on your life? What are the things and the steps that you need to take to maybe go a little bit deeper? Maybe follow that calling or the word that Christ has put on your life. Step up and volunteer, or maybe even be ordained. Christ is calling. God is telling us and we should tell others. Let us pray. Father God, because of your son Jesus who was born amongst animals who came to earth to share, spread light in the world. Help us to share his love, his light, and tell others about what he has done for us. We ask this in your name. Amen. Indeed, and we are going to sing of what God has done from us by singing, O come all ye faithful, let's sing together. Oh
So having sung again, we turn our hearts and our minds to prayer. So let us pray. Father, in these moments, we lift to you the lonely and the lost. Lord, we pray that your peace and spirit will be amongst them. Lord, in these moments, we lift to you those in pain who are suffering or who are mourning a loved one. May the peace of your Son be with them. Father God, in these moments, we lift to you those who are distanced from their home may know, may they know as they journey, your love walks with them. Lord, in these moments, we lift to you those who are facing domestic violence this day. May your angels protect them. Lord, in these moments, we lift to you those families who are struggling because of finance, because of food, or because they are supporting those with additional needs. May they know the peace of your risen Son. And Lord, in these moments, we lift ourselves to you for our own needs, our own worries, and our own concerns. May, you, may we know the peace of your Son. Lord, we gather all these prayers together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. And as we finish our worship together, we are going to sing in a moment our final song, Angels from the Realms of Glory. But may you know the peace of Christ which passes all understanding. And may you know the knowledge and love of that. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be upon you, remain with you now and always. Amen. So wherever you are, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.
visions beam afar Seek the great desire of nations Ye have seen his name to star Father, Spirit, Son, 